In 2007, Estonia suffered cyber attacks. The government, media and banks were targeted. A year later, the Cyber Defence Centre of Excellence, in cooperation with NATO, was opened in Tallinn in North Estonia. Eight nations contribute to it. Germany, Spain, Estonia, Italy, Lithuania, Latvia, Slovakia and Hungary, which joined recently. Here researchers are working to optimise the protection of computer servers. Cyber defence strategy and research are at the heart of this cooperation between Alliance member states. We are focusing on legal and policy aspects, trying to analyse what the national frameworks, also what the latest cyber strategies and to draw some best practices. We also try to look on uh, terms and uh, definitions, which are quite challenging because they uh, are constantly changing and difficult to find a common agreement among the nations. The centre focuses on different aspects of digital technology, such as artificial intelligence and the role it could have in future decision making. The protection of critical infrastructure is a priority area for the centre. The issue that many researchers are focused on today is a critical infrastructure. So, and this really encompasses everything from hard targets like water and electricity, uh, nuclear infrastructure, uh, to softer targets like elections. For instance, here in Estonia, they just had uh, a, a national election with many people voting via the internet. And so before the elections, there was a major effort to secure the infrastructure from hackers because you, you, know, you can only imagine if the national election is tainted by some, uh, some idea that it's unfair. The centre also organises practical exercises, simulations of attack and defence on the web, and technical training such as that on botnets, computer networks infected by viruses. Soon online learning will even be possible. The centre is developing. It now has 30 civil and military personnel, and the director hopes to double the staff by 2015. This goes along with NATO's desire to increase its cyber defence capabilities. We are definitely will continue to do more work on uh, uh, definitions and terminology which would help uh, understanding from the NATO nations supporting the policy documents, all the reference materials. As well, we are continuing to provide more close support on exercises, helping to drive the scenarios and also playing the different roles, different exercises. Today, cyber defence is a major issue and the centre will certainly play an increasingly important role in years to come. Three nations, the United States, Turkey and Poland, should soon join it too. This is NATO Channel reporting from Tallinn.